I bought a gaming laptop recently. I guess I should use it. Maple Story! You probably heard of it. It's a long, long, long running MMORPG from the people at Nexon. Global Maple Story's been around since 2005. That's almost two decades. This game's as old as like emo music. And I have never played it. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know the world of MMORPGs is one I'm still kind of learning and exploring. And I've heard that name, Maple Story, floating around for ages. So when Nexon themselves reached out and said, hey dude, uh, can we sponsor you to play Maple Maple Story. I was like, well, dang, <laughs> what else am I going to use this thousand dollar gaming laptop for? Please help me justify my purchase. So, yes, today's video is sponsored by Maple Story. Say thank you, Maple Story. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Maple Story. As I said, this is a classic MMORPG with a history stretching back to 2005, at least in North America. And it's pretty unique being a 2D game in the genre as opposed to 3D. I really love it. It looks cute and colorful, simple, appealing, instantly recognizable, all that. There's tons of different ways to play too. Different worlds that act kind of like different servers, different classes of characters to play as, multiple characters to create, and tons of different ways to level them up. And speaking of leveling up, with the latest updates to the game, Maple Story is bringing in new and faster ways to progress, which is good because there's also plenty of new content to explore. As some of the biggest things in this new update are the return of Hyper Burning and the Burning World, which makes you level up three times faster, all the way to level 260. And once you reach 260, you can unlock a sixth job and the Hexa Matrix, bringing with it all types of new skills and effects for each class. There's also an event going on where you can set your character up to be zero to 100, which again helps you level up even faster through through leveling accelerated hunting maps. During the event, you can only set up one character per day as zero to 100, but over the course of the event, you could level up seven characters this way. With level achievement awards coming at level 30, 60, 101, plus a special gift, there's so much to check out during this event. And then there's the reboot Hyperion, a new world that is perfect for both new and returning players, plus new modes, new zones, new difficulties, and so, so much more. So if you're like me and you're new to MapleStory, or you just haven't played in a while. And if anything you see in this video today seems cool to you, be sure to head down to the top link in this video's description to play Maple Story for yourself. The updates are great for both old and new players. Speaking of, uh, maybe I should play the game now. So thank you to Maple Story for sponsoring, and now I'm 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 gonna go do that. The game begins. Oh man, oh man, the game begins with some really good music, actually. <laughs> Okay, uh, sorry, I got a bit distracted. Uh, let me set this down. So yeah, the game kicks off, I pick my world. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna go with Burning since it's highlighted here. Let's see what this has going on. Ooh, interesting, hold on. This limited time special world provides various perks to enable rapid growth. Ooh. Considering I'm a bit new to this game, this might actually be pretty fun. Upon creation, character gains Burning skill, which increases XP gains by 1.5 times, nice. Yeah, I think this seems all right. Let's go to the selected channel and see what's going on. I create my character, Kali, Cygnus and Knights, cool. I'm new here. We got the Explorers, Dual Blade, ooh, Cannoneer, ooh, ooh, I like Cannoneer. They got one of these things. I guess that would be a cannon. I, I, I like this one. I like this one. I'm gonna go with Cannoneer, see what happens here. I will choose this class. Look at my little guy. I'm a boy, got different faces. Oh, these are really cute, honestly. All right, hair, anime protagonist, anime protagonist, anime protagonist, anime protagonist. Oh, I like this one. Make it blue, make it blue. I don't like that blue, make it purple. That's better. That's better. <laughs> Weapons. We got a sword. Axe. Thought it was a cannoneer. Wooden club. Let's go with the axe. I like an axe. I'm a purple axe wielding anime boy. And of course, my name is Fofi. And the story begins as I, purple haired anime protagonist Fofi, sit under an old tree rambling about some old hero who was the biggest maple man there ever was. When out of nowhere, a maple leaf falls from the tree and just beeline straight for me. Thing like glows. Canada, but then it stops. Canada? But yeah, the leaf glowed at me, which in a fantasy RPG is probably some kind of greater prophecy, so I keep the leaf and, hey, a person. Excuse me. Hello. Excuse me. Yeah, okay, yes, you are excused. Hi. Excuse me. My name's Sugar. 
Hello. So Sugar here is an aspiring explorer who's getting ready to set sail on a boat to Victoria Island. And apparently in Maple World, despite having like money and stuff, the only thing you need to gain access to a big boat sailing off to adventure is some snail shells. Luckily, Sugar's got them. All right, so now it's up to us, i.e. me, to get Sugar some replacement snail shells. And this is really where you get a sense of how the game works. You run around, swing your weapon of choice, and pick up your spoils. It's classic RPG stuff. So here I am, just swinging a giant axe at some tiny snails. I am just decimating the snail population of Maple World, man. These things don't stand a chance. I mean, collecting these shells is gonna be easier than uh, killing snails with a battle axe, I guess. And pretty soon, I got enough to get Sugar back onto that boat. So let's get going. You said you've never been on an adventure because you're afraid of snails, right? Is that what I said? <laughs> I don't think that's what I said. Did I say that? I'm clearly not afraid. I've killed millions. Now look at you. You're a full-fledged snail hunter. Killer of millions. I'm not scared of adventures. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. What's the problem then? I'm scared. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, excuse me. Pardon? Just squeeze through. Sorry, you get to die now. You both, you all get to die now. You're inconveniencing me personally. Before I send you off with a ticket, you're gonna have to show me what you uh, got what it takes. All right, you brought all 10 snail shells. Here's the ticket that will get you on board. Before I give you the ticket for boat, you're gonna have to show me that you've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. <laughs> Ooh, brand new adventure suit. Yeah, now I'm looking adventure-y. And boots. I literally almost threw those away. Oops, I'm so, <laughs> I've got so much to learn on my long journey in Maple Story. Sorry. <laughs> and finally, we reach the big boat of adventure, but we gotta wait in line. While there though, we meet three new characters. Rondo, a thief, Tess, a pirate, and Olive, who straight up says one of her biggest goals in life is to steal the most precious jewel in the world. I'm going to find the world's most precious jewel. Once I get all filthy rich, they'll call me the bowman with the diamond arrows. I'm sure that will never come back to haunt her. Anyway, we start loading up on the boat, but I can't come. Apparently, this gigantic ship can only hold uh, four tiny anime people. All right, better look around for something else. Hello, sir. If you're here, who's driving the boat? Howdy ho! You must be a new explorer. You could ride along with me. I was just about to sail that way myself. My boat's anchored right over there. So I hop on the strange man's boat with no questions and... Whoa! Oh, that's not normal. Whoa! This kind of stuff just happens? Whoa! And I'm gone. Uh... Excuse me? <laughs> so right after setting sail, some mythical creature called a Balrog just appears and totally launches my tiny butt off into the ocean. Cool. Good. Cool. Good. Cool. After drifting at sea for God knows how long, I wash up on the shore of a nearby island and am awoken by... <gasps> Monkey! The monkey of destiny. <laughs> I love that. Does he really know what's going on? Couldn't hurt to ask. The monkey stares blankly at you. It's making you uncomfortable. Okay then, you saved me. A monkey saved me. <laughs> Never heard of a great pirate had to be saved by a monkey. I suppose I should thank you. Since you did save me, thank you very much for saving my life. One of the only things I find on this island is this sketchy dude named Cutter who keeps mumbling about wanting to blow stuff up while standing in front of a giant cannon. And he talks for a... For, for, for a long time. <laughs> Who's it? Is that a, is that a ghost? Uh, it is, isn't it? The ghost of a poor person knocked overboard by the Balrog and drowned at sea. Wow, very, very intuitive for a man stuck on a deserted island. I'm gonna drop that voice. Right, introductions, let's do this. I'm Cutter, shipwrecked pirate extraordinaire. I'm a weapons designer, you see? Best kind of engineering. Things blow up, but they're supposed to. I had to go out to see a test it. It's firing first one at the brick wall that happened at the barn. Uh, the tests were beautiful, glorious. It was the dawn of a new age. Yeah, it's just so excited. Well, I didn't see the rocks until it was too late. I can only assume the boat smashed in splinters. I woke up on the island after heck. I had no idea. And it was a crying shame. And there was a show Kyron working prototype, but I don't know how to work. Get, get off this island. Okay. Sh God, shut up. <laughs> that was the whole quest. <laughs> hey, this cannon here? Yeah, I built that to escape the island. Launches you all the way back to Victoria Island. You'd probably get there alive, too. Just a shame I lost the ignition device for it. Wait, time out. Why can't we get the ignition device? Because I don't know how to swim. Are you even listening to yourself? You're a pirate that doesn't know how to swim? You are useless. So I... Swim? Is this... Is this swimming? Grab the explosives, hop back over to Cutter, who insists I give a very heartfelt goodbye to the monkey. The monkey looks so happy to see you. This monkey has done a lot for you. Thank you for all your help, but I'm leaving soon, so goodbye. Ah, eh, what do I expect? You're a monkey. Well, for what it's worth, thanks. Take care, monkey. I will, I will miss you. And then, pew, we're off. 
And guess what? That rambunctious little monkey tagged along, completely throwing off the calculations of our trajectory and putting us in grave, grave danger. Isn't it cute? <laughs> the lot of us get scooped up by Chiron, a pirate captain who Cutter was actually a working engineer for. He tells me to go talk to her once we're safe on the ship, and she finally makes me a real cannoneer. I get a little cannon gun and a pirate outfit and everything is cool. Give me the cannon. I want the can, give me the cannon. Now on Victoria Island, everything just lights up. Look at all these people. Look at this thing. Look at that. Look at this taxi. Interesting. Oh, and look at this. Oh, oh, wait. Is this a wanted poster? Oh, it's the girl from the dock. 200 million. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. I guess she wasn't joking. What brings you here? The person who stole the thing that you're offering like 200 million money for. I know them. Give me money. Someone stole a treasure in transit from Rien to Henesis. All fingers point to one of my own disciples, Olive. She did say she wanted to steal the most expensive jewel in the world. It's hard to believe. I don't know, the it's evidence stacks enough. up pretty well. I mean, she was she was pretty forthcoming about it. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, we do have some explorers helping with the search. You're welcome to join them. Okay. So Lady Athena sends us off to find Olive and either get the truth or bring her to justice. But Victoria Island looks huge. I could get lost for hours and hours before I even begin to figure out where she might be. Oh, there she is. There she, there she is. Get her. <laughs> Everyone says you stole some treasure. Oh, and let me guess, you believe them. Yes. It's not like you gave yourself much of an alibi. <laughs> I met you for five minutes waiting in line and then the boat left without me. Don't follow me or I'll make you regret it. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, we're fighting. Okay, we're fighting. <laughs> the cannon was too, oh, she's dead. Oh, she's so dead. I really didn't steal it, but everybody thought I did. So I ran off to try to clear my name. What should I do? Can I trust her? Let her go, take her in. Logic tells me to take her in, but I'm gonna let her go. Oh, found you. Uh-oh. Oh. Hang on, at least hear me out. Hey, this is not me. I didn't do this. I didn't do this. I'm not part of this. Well, I almost did a maybe good thing here, but then Rondo came in and messed it all up slash did the right thing. I don't know. But right before she gets de de hauled off to the station, Olive tells me to go find a guy named Nineheart and ask about the master of disguise. And you might not know this about me, but I love a good mystery. So of course, I'm not gonna rest until I get to the bottom. Look at these guys. What are these guys doing? Whoa, you can do that? Whoa, whoa. P, P, P. Whoa, look at that, look at that. I didn't even notice that, look at that thing. Okay. Got a little distracted again, but eventually I did find Nineheart. This guy is the Empress's tactician, which means he's got some real clout out here. So when I tell him about Olive being framed by some master of disguise, he's like, oh yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Just show these incriminating documents to Lady Athena. So I do that. Hey, sorry to come back, but you're wrong apparently. I heard you helped catch Olive, very nice work. I didn't do that. I didn't do it, nobody saw me do it. You can't prove anything. <laughs> a letter from the Empress's tactician. Give me some time with this if you would. Okay, time's up. If this letter is true, and Olive really was framed. Yes. Why didn't I trust her? Because she was very forthcoming about the fact that she had a dream of stealing a precious jewel. It was honestly very sound logic on your part. You just did, weren't right. This particular jewel is what they call a seal stone. It has the power to reshape a continent. Oh, <laughs> those can do that apparently. <laughs> okay. The Master of Disguises group has a hiding place in the Vern Mine. I'm going to send Olive there to clear her name personally. I could send you along too, if you'd like. RPG party. Yes, let's do it. So things have gotten much more complicated than I expected. Apparently the gem that was stolen was a seal stone, some kind of powerful magic stone that was used to seal away this incredibly evil black mage and also has the power to split the continents. And apparently this black mage now has a legion of followers called the Black Wings who wanna bring him back and stuff. I was just trying to clear my maybe friend's name. But to that end, Athena does give me a new task, accompanying Olive to go confront the Master of Disguise and find further proof of her innocence. So the whole team gets back together. Me, Olive, Rondo, Tess, and Sugar. Just call us waiting in line gang. Great to see you. You left me. <laughs> Come on, you two haven't been apart that long. I was a stranded on a desert island, dude. We've been talking about how to get into the mine. Mayhaps this sad bunny man will help. He said to start in the room near the entrance, right? But there are two rooms. Uh-oh. Yeah, so what if we just check both rooms? What if the other room's dangerous, though? Wait, Rondo, are you scared? No, I'm cautious, like thieves are supposed to be. Yeah, uh, you're scared. you stupid scared, stupid scared. I've got an idea. Close your eyes for a second. Oh. Uh, uh, okay. He 
got ears. Ooh, an orb to ponder. What's that giant marble over there? I don't know, but I feel like I must ponder it for decades. This orb for pondering. <laughs> Is the thing next to the marble the seal stone? There's a no. Why aren't you here yet? I completed the mission. Here's the seal stone. Whenever you get around to picking it up. Ah, from the boss. From the boss. We grab the seal stone and this note from the Master of Disguise that basically incriminates him, and then we all just peace out back to Athena, who clears Olive's name and then gives me a new, much bigger task. Level 11! Level Whoa, 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 I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy right now. <laughs> whoa, okay. Whoa, okay. Jeez, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Are we done? I think we're done. <laughs> I was looking through the files you gave me, and a question came up. If the Black Wings want the Black Mage to come back, what exactly did they want with the Seal Stone? They called it a Seal Stone. What if it has the power to break that seal? You think they want to use it to let him out? Sounds possible. Hello. I can all but guarantee you it's not. Well, you asked. Have you heard of the Temple of Time? That's where the heroes defeated the Black Mage. Ooh. The temple has three doors, the gate of the present being one of them. And that gate has been locked up tight ever since. No one else has been inside. I'd like you to scout it this time if you could. Once you commit to this quest, you won't be able to leave it until it's over. All right, let's do it. Sure, I'll start right away. Ooh, pretty. Ooh, I like this. All of these doors are open. Every single one of these doors are open in some capacity. And this little jewel is broken. Someone should be checking on these more often. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's so pretty, but it's so ominous. Oh, these purples and pinks and blues and whites look so good. Whoa, that music. Uh-oh. Ooh. Now that's a lair. Those jewels, they're seal stones. That thing in there must be the black mage. Yeah, checks out. Uh-oh, that cracked. That thing's cracked. That's not good. Oh no, one of the stones is cracked. If it loses its power, he might wake up. All right, back to Lady Athena. She needs to know about this. So that ain't good. I run back to tell Athena that the seal stone in the black mage's chamber is cracked and we agreed that we should just go replace it with the one we found in the cave. But once we get there, Athena's like, uh, the doors are all closed. And I'm like, Whoa! Once inside the chamber again, the black mage starts taunting me. He's getting loose. I reach for the seal stone and then... Oh no. Oh no. This will probably be fine. I don't think, I don't think there's too much to worry about here actually. So, the black mage is most likely on the loose now. It's uh, pretty sweet, pretty cool. Yeah, cool. And I think that's where we're gonna end today's dive into Maple Story. But what happens next? How do we defeat the Black Mage? What more cool new abilities can we unlock? We have to know. Well, if you wanna know, just check the link below to play Maple Story for yourself. Remember that the current updates have brought in plenty of new content and faster ways to level up and progress, which is great for both new and returning players. So if you're new to Maple Story or just haven't played in a while, maybe this is your sign to dive back in. So check it out. Thank you again to Maple Story for sponsoring today's video. And with that, I'm a, I'm a, I think I'm gonna go kill more snails. This town is overrun! Are we sure snails aren't the dominant species here?